All right, good morning, folks. We are here in Granville Village, Cedras, a very scenic place. And we are here to visit an orchard. All right, so I have here, this is um, a Joseph Court, beautiful tree. Look at, look at, look at those leaves. Wow. All right, so we're picking some um, pink grapefruit, right? Normal grapefruit. Yeah. Nice grapefruit, man. Look at that. Vitamin C. Mm. All right. Now this tree here. I know some of you would not know this, but this is actually what we call a black pepper tree. Right? Look at this. So this is what it look like this is a black pepper tree cut it folks we have to we have to you have to it allow it to dry it will get so ripe it will get red it will get ripe it will get red and then when it and then you dry it sun, yeah, black, yeah. and then you and then you grind it grind where you used to grind it a mill a mill mm -hmm. so this is black pepper folks so this is this is what it look looks like when it's dried so this is the green one here and this is the dry one and when it's grinded this is what it looks like this is a hundred percent pure black pepper and it smells really really good all right so we're just going to go through some of the trees here this actually is a tahiti noni i think you guys know this fruit it has a lot of medicinal value noni this here is what we call a balata tree it bears a nice small fruit Balata tree. Now it's a dry season in Trinidad, so you know the place is very dry at this point in time. But it's a beautiful day indeed, man. Look at the skies. Beautiful, beautiful day indeed. Nice blue blue skies today. Right, this is a pink marsh grapefruit, right? So this is one of the grapefruit from the tree here. I'm just gonna peel it. This is this is um this is what we call um a pink marsh grapefruit. Got the texture there. Now you do you, do you dry the skin like on um like for tea and stuff like that? No. Yeah, you could. You could. Mm -hmm. Let's look at this. What it looks like inside. Look at that, folks. Wow. Sweet really Vitamin sweet. C. Mmm. Mmm. You know, I don't know, but I think fruits are much sweeter in the dry season. Eh? This is, look at this. Wow. This is green pigeon peas here. Yeah? <laughs> look at that. So it has a pot in it. So this, some people, some, um, they actually put this in tin and they call it green pigeon peas, but this is the natural thing here, people. This here is a bread, this here is a breadfruit tree. Breadfruit was brought, brought to the Caribbean by Captain Bly. It was actually a, a cheap source of um, carbohydrates for the slaves, I understand. But it is, it is indeed very tasty. I like it when you actually fry it. As a chip. You guys know this bush here? We call it sweet broom. I give it a proper name, but actually, if you crunch crush the leaves, it actually smells like morbia. But it has a lot of um, medicinal value, you understand? Well, we have a big bamboo patch just bordering the, the orchard here. Look at it. Really, really big bamboo. Bamboo have all forms of uses in Trinidad. We use it to make kite, we use it to prop up foundation when you're casting cement and build tent, a whole lot of things. Bamboo. Wow. We have a, um, what we call a Chinese coconut tree here. We have one in there. Coconut. Is it Antoriums? Yeah, it's a great, like that. Mm -hmm. 
I think you guys might know this plant. This is a bali, see? Really is a pretty flower. Cut it. Wow. That's some dashing bush growing here. Some people call it baji. I think it's coming really healthy. You know, look at it. It's a, it's a, it is very high in iron. Eh? So this is what we call a mami seaport tree. Alright. Look at this. There's a lot of them in it. And some of them not fell to the ground. Have been foraged by the aguti. If you look carefully, you will see the aguti and they are having a time here foraging on these um on the seaport. This is one here. Okay, for those of you, I don't know if you all know this fruit, but we call it governor cherry in our part. Um how you actually eat this is um pick it and you kind of soften it up for a bit you have to soften it up for a bit eh? because it's kind of firm all right and um this is what it looks like inside very tasty Right, so there you have it folks Governor Cherry it Really is a nice I should say a well kept orchard eh? Look at this is a this is a kaime tree Is kaime in season? Mm -hmm. hmm? you ruku? Ruku, yeah. Oh you have a ruku tree there This is what we call ruku, folks. Right, so I think this seed here, this seed here, it, it makes, they use it to make a red piece um, for stew and all that. Yeah? Actually, you could actually see a little redness still in it. I mean, it's a bit dry now, but actually still gives off a little bit of, a, of all the redness in it. All right, so this is a ruku tree. Cut it. See how red my hand, my fingers are. And this is pineapple. Pineapple. Nice, juicy pineapple. Still green though. Yeah. So, you know, you know these in these um challenging economic times, you know, it's important that. You folks out there who have land available, you know, you really need to do some planting. Eh? It's best to be self-sustaining in these times. A little bit of everything. I don't know if you guys know this tree, but it's, um, we call it monkey fig. Actually, there's a little kind of fig in it, and then it's eaten. Edible fruit. Well, you know, avocados coming into season, and um, this tree, I don't know, I find this year, 2023, I'm seeing a lot of flowers on all the fruit trees, the mango trees, the avocado trees, a lot, a lot of blossom, a lot, a lot of flowers. Now, you guys might be wondering why this bottle is here. Now, it's a dry season, and this is a, actually a method that they use to the, 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 the plant alive right because it's really dry yeah, there's a small hole at the bottom here and it actually drips it probably lasts about a whole week or maybe more and then you have to refill your container but it keeps the plant hydrated we have some cassava here See? cassava I'm seeing a kind of seed like bearing from the cassava I think when you see the seed, it means that it actually is ready for digging, for harvesting. 
correct? Yeah, this is a this is a little match on here, Bill. Here for the Barbadin. This is Barbadin. We have some sorrel here, black sorrel. You know, sorrel is our favorite drink around Christmas time, but it doesn't mean that they can't have it out of Christmas. Alright, so we're moving along. We have some ducks here. Hello, ducklings. Hello duckies, how are you? Some nice little cute little ducklings there. Eh? Duck anyone? Hello duckies. This is actually a cocoa and um well you know squirrel is one of the the red tail squirrel I think it is. It's one of the main um see they actually cut the cocoa there and get the pods out. This is a cocoa tree here. These are some of the green ones, as you can see. They use cocoa to make chocolate and a whole lot of other things. And I understand Trinidad has one of the best cocos in the world. Eh? You have any ripe one anywhere? You have a red ginger lily here. This is Amrak. I don't know if you guys. No, this fruit. This is what, what it, this is actually what it looks like. Bite what do you use this to do? Bite it. You can make pepper sauce, you can make chutney. You can make pepper sauce with this chutney. Yeah, fry, I'm rock. Fry dry, yeah. You have to fry, fry. Yeah. This is actually here too? Yeah, this is actually what it looks like here. Mm -hmm. I'm rock. This is the flowers sticking out of the tree there. Yeah. You have a nice bunch of um this is moko right? Yeah, moko. A nice bunch of moko here. I don't know if you all ever had fry moko. And this is a piwa tree here. Eh? Piwa desert? This is a piwa tree. If you look carefully, you'll see there are a lot of spines in it. It's a really t slim, tall tree. And the bunches are way up to the top there. But it's, I don't think it's in season right now, right? Let's clean up some, of, some plants here. This is Wonder of the World. Has a lot of medicinal value as well. This is a red poinsettia. Really, really nice. We have a bunch of um, sylphig here. This fig is very, very sweet when it's ripe. Still fig. Have some melon jam growing here. And you have two in the right now. Look at them. Wow. Melon jam or eggplant. Tomatoes. Have a couple tomatoes there. What do we got there? They're giving you a little cinematic view of the little garden here, man. So more clothes. More clothes. See pepper. Booty. Now in Trinidad when we put when we make something like this we call it a jockey. Right? This is for you actually use some sticks and some string and whatever, some pieces of bamboo. And it really is it's it, it vines a lot, so you actually have to prepare something that for it to run on. But it looks really really healthy, I must say. I mean the soil looks kinda white and maybe a little bit bleached, but I think it's good soil anyway. Just have to mix it with a little bit of um, pen manure. 
Now this is a hand of the, uh, the moko when it's ripe. If you guys ever had moko fry, what, what else you could use moko to do? Make fritters? Yeah. If you, if you guys ever had this fry, you could let me know how it tastes, what you think about it. Now, this is what we call a plum tree. So as, for, as, as young boys growing up, you know, we climbing plum tree, but the branch real weak, yeah? Trust me. So be careful when you're climbing up on those plum, plum branch. It's one of the weakest branch I would have, I could see, but they are now coming into blossom, and you could see there are a couple of small ones up there. This here is what we call a calabash tree. Or some people call it good. Alright? Is that china tree up there? Yeah, it's a china tree. It's a china tree, but it has some, some, some flowers in it right now. I have a cutlass mango tree out there. And um, this is what the dry calabash look like. Some people use it to make bowl and stuff. Alright? This is what it look like. The Arawak used to make bowl and other, other cutleries and stuff for this. Some hot pepper here, look at them. Wow. Now this is actually a bowl made from the calabash. Or the good. Right? And as you can see clearly, it contains, the, it, it holds the water very good. Right now, long ago, I was told that they used to actually take this and make a water bottle with it. You put up a small hole to clean out the inside, and it actually keeps the water cool. If anybody could relate to such thing, you could probably let me know in the comments below. Man, look at that, it's a perfect bowl, perfect, perfect bowl there, man, with a calabash. Look at that, people, and it holds the water very good. All right, so maybe if you ever drank water from a calabash. You will love folks that is. You could let me know in the comments. We call a Tanya patch. Right? Tanya is like a ground provision. Look at it. Really, really nice. Green and lush. Really, really nice. What happened here at Southwest Adventure people, man? Look at it. Granville Village in Cedrus. It, it, is, it, is, it is an area where a lot of agriculture takes place. The land is properly drained because it's not flat. And the soil, you have excellent soil here. Trust me. Right? You have some avocados um, in blossom here, as you can see. So we're expecting some avocados coming in season soon. Avocado, we call it zabuka. Right? you would see a small avocado here cut it against my hand here nice small avocado coming in there this is what we call a date tree people right the dates like where you could purchase in the supermarket this is a date tree here. date tree this here is what we call a mandarin tree, right? Look at look at what it looks like. It's a nice little small fruit. Peel it, peel it, go ahead, peel it. So Caleb is gonna peel it. I don't know if you are, you guys ever had no 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 you don't bite it. Mandarin, let me see what it looks like. This is what it looks like. It's like a miniature Portugal. Is it sweet? Tasty? Mm hmm Mmm. Nice. A nice bunch of plants in here. 